Hi there, Hamilton Southeastern teachers and parents, if you'd like to share this with your parents. This is Lori Cheek. My daughter is Lainey Cheek. She's actually a sixth grade student at Sand Creek Intermediate, and I am a teacher in Warren Township, an eighth grade teacher, and I've done quite a bit of research on some I-STEP um, things in order to help my students uh, excel this year on the I-STEP test, and I found something very interesting and important, so I thought I'd share it with you all so that you could also use this with your children. <clears throat> if you go to the parent portal, and that is actually um, provided to you on a sheet that we recently received in the mail, the address, but you can see it right here for results. You create an account if you don't already have one. When you log in, you simply put in your child's first name, last name, day of birth, and the claim code provided on page two of the I-STEP results. Um, it's underneath fifth grade English language arts results on open-ended items. Once you do that, I'm going to go to language arts because that's what I teach and my daughter needs some help in that area. Um, you can go ahead and see what the score was, what the pass score was. So she had to have a 486. She had 473. She was super duper close. So I look here just to see, um, this is broken down by area, but here is what I'm interested in, applied skills. She lost two points here for one of the um, short response questions. She lost a point here. She lost two points here, a point here, and three here. Well, the cool thing is, is I can click here and actually see what my daughter wrote on the I-STEP I test. Okay, so when I did that, I tried to actually search to find out, oh, can I find this article or the story that this came from so I can kind of help her and show her how to answer these kind of questions correctly and um, use some support and details from the text. And I happened upon finding the released items that just currently got released for last year's test. And the cool thing about that is if you go to the page that actually has the story on it, they give um, examples of what they would give a two out of two of, what they would give a one out of two and a zero out of two example. So you can even just show your child that. So if you're not an English teacher like I am, it's okay because you can have this link here um, that will help you do that. So you can have this for your child where they can actually see the excerpt that was on the actual test. So that starts on page six, the passage. Um, as you can see here is the same exact question that my daughter was asked last year in constructed response. It even gives you some tips here on what gives a perfect score, then shows you examples of actual kids' writings. Here is somebody that got a two out of two and it tells just some notes about it. This person, sample B, score two points. Okay, these, these guys just got one. And these were in the same boat as my daughter and on God didn't get any. So I definitely am gonna go over these with her. So you can actually go through those, question two as well, and so on. So you can go over these with your kids. You can see what their scores were and so on through that. Also, um, the longer written response is here and that has the different pages and what they actually wrote on those. So that's awesome. That's your kid's actual writing from last year. Another great feature is that they have provided parents with resources. So if you go to perspective study materials, your child has a resource for learning locator, such and such, depending on their score. So teachers, if you're looking at this, you need to find out the locator numbers. And I can even help you because I have a lot of the different links for the different locators, but that locator number is actually on the piece of paper that parents um, got. That's on page one on the bottom left, the learning locator. You could even just email parents to just send that to you. Then you could just get all these resources yourself. But there's 24 resources in this section, reading nonfiction, 24 resources, writing, 16, and writing conventions, 30. So if my daughter needs some help on like main idea supporting details, 
I can just click on this and there'll be a printable that I can use to practice with her outside of school or her teachers could access this if I give them her learning strand um, because she's falling under this certain blanket so that they have some personalized individual learning that they can do for kids based on their learning strand on iStep. So those were just some things I wanted to share with you guys. Um, teachers, please let me know. I do teach in Warren, but my daughter goes to Hamilton Southeastern, like I said, especially um, any of her, her English teacher. That'd be awesome. I would love to help you guys. Um, I am an English teacher. I've been a teacher for 17 years. I really want to get into being an instructional specialist. This is kind of my niche and what I do. All right. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at 